So I'm here in our GE Pokers Hub and I thought I'd look at the Complete Anatomy app by 3D4 Medical to look at the approach when performing a supraclavicular brachial plexus block. So here we've got a model here. Here's our clavicle where you place your ultrasound probe immediately behind the clavicle. In fact, you can see those supraclavicular nerves uh, running over this anterior surface of the clavicle here. But if we're coming in with our needle, we'll be approaching from this posterior aspect. As you come, come in here, you can see the divisions of the brachial plexus here in relation to the subclavian artery. Um, you've got the anterior scalene and the middle scalene, the roots of the brachial plexus coming out in between those, becoming trunks, and then the divisions. And actually, as we approach here, you can see the nerve that's coming off to the right is the suprascapular nerve. And it's important when you're doing a supraclavicular brachial plexus block um, to be mindful of that nerve as you're coming in with the needle. But you can see here, the proximity of the subclavian artery and the uh, the nerves right by the first rib. You can also see the middle scaling muscle in, um, inserting here into the first rib. And this is one of the potential pitfalls when you're performing an in-plane supraclavicular brachial plexus block. People sometimes misinterpret that tenderness insertion onto the first rib as part of the brachial plexus. It's not, but what we're aiming to do down is get down into that eight ball corner pocket and lift the the lower division there up off the first rib. So there we go, that lovely view of supraclavicular brachial plexus block. And look at all of that vasculature. You've got to be careful on the way in there. Fantastic app, fantastic app. Thoroughly recommend.